Okay. I want to talk then about the decibel scale, which is a scale we typically use to talk about how loud a sound, uh, how, how our perception of how loud a sound is. Okay. Now, first, let's write a little table for the log function, log base 10 function. Okay. If x is 1, log base 10 of x is 0 because 1 is 10 to the 0, and so forth. Okay, well, here's the table. You can write the table. Just write the 10 to the x exponential function table and reverse the columns. This is what you're going to get. Okay, so here's our table. We should understand this from what we've seen before. Now, let's say, uh, well, here, here's a definition of our decibel scale. Decibel measure of a sound is 10 multiplied by the base 10 log of i divided by i naught. i naught is 10 to the negative 12th watts per square centimeter. You could write that as a decimal with 11 zeros and 1 watts per square centimeter. That's our hearing threshold. This is the intensity of a sound that a healthy ear can just barely perceive. Okay, an optimally healthy ear, generally a healthy ear and a young child. Now let's say we have a 10 watt speaker and we're listening to it at a distance of 100 centimeters. Now it's a, a think meters think about that far, right? A little over three feet, 100 centimeters. So 10 watt speaker there, my ear here. Okay. What's the decibel uh, measure of the intensity of that sound? Now let's digress. The area of a sphere, we should know, is 4 pi r squared, where r is its radius. 4 pi is about 12.56. You can check that out easily. So we're going to fudge a bit and just say that the error is about 10 times r squared. Instead of 4 pi, we're going to use 10. 10 is close enough to 12.56 that we're not going to be too far off. Okay? And this is just for the simplicity of the calculations. Okay? The area of that sphere then, uh, at a distance of 100 centimeters, we're listening on a sphere of radius 100 centimeters with the speaker at the center. The area is going to be 4 pi r squared. We approximate that as 10 r squared. <coughs> r is the 100 centimeters. We square the 100 centimeters. We get 10,000 centimeters squared. Multiply that by 10, we get 100,000 centimeters squared. The intensity then is what? Intensity is the number of watts divided by the area of the sphere. Okay, ten. So that's ten watts divided by a hundred thousand square centimeters, and we calculate that easily enough. It's 0 0.0001 watts per square minute centimeter, which we might really be better off expressing as ten to the negative fourth watts per square minute centimeter. But in any case, the decibel measure is then going to be, by this definition, well, we're going to put the intensity here. We're going to put the hearing threshold intensity here. So, I write this out. 10, log base 10, intensity, hearing threshold intensity. 0.001 watts per square centimeter divided by 10 to the negative 12th watts per square centimeter. Now, I could have written this with all these zeros and stuff, but I don't have so much board. And who wants to write out all those zeros? So what I'm going to do in the next calculation, I'm just going to replace this 0.0001 watts per square centimeter with, well, I'm going to replace the 0.0001 with 10 to the negative fourth. That's very straightforward. Um, and I'm going to say that, well, i got watts per square centimeter here and watts per square centimeter here. You can separate this out into two fractions, one that has watts per square centimeter in both numerator and denominator, so it's actually kind of equal to one, so it goes away. Okay? 
leaving me just 10 to the negative fourth over 10 to the negative twelfth here. And then, using the laws of exponents, reciprocal of 10 to the negative twelfth means reciprocal of 10 to the twelfth. Um, and when you divide by fraction, you divide by the reciprocal and all that stuff. And just using the laws of exponents that I don't want to go through. We've been through it so many times. Um, and review it if you have to. If you don't understand this calculation, don't rely on your calculator to do this calculation. Make sure you understand this. Uh, this gives us 10 times the log base 10 of 10 to the 8th. They do have a law of exponents that says um, if you divide 10 to the a by 10 to the b, you get 10 to the a minus b. Okay, you can use that if you wish. And a would be 4 and b would be 12, uh, ne negative 12. And negative 4 minus negative 12 gives you 8. Okay. In any case, this gives us 10 log base 10 of 10 to the 8th. Now, what is the log base 10 of 10 to the 8th? Well, I didn't complete this table. Of course, you never complete it because it goes on to infinity this way. It also goes into the negative uh, exponents of uh, 0.1, 0.01, 0.001, as we've seen. It's obvious if we look at this table that if we go to 10 to the 8th, which comes right after 10 to the 7th, we're going to have a 1 followed by 8 zeros, but the log is going to be 8. So just thinking of this table, it's obvious that the log of 10 to the 8th, log base 10 of 10 to the 8th is 8. So that's 10 times 8, or 80. So this speaker gives us an 80 decibel sign. So we say that's an 80 decibel sound. It's going to sound reasonably loud, but not Usually not as loud as a lawnmower uh, or the speaker if you put your ear right next to it. Okay, so similar calculations, 10 watt speaker at 1,000 centimeters. So we think, okay, now we're 1,000 centimeters. That's 10 times as far. That's 10 meters away. That's about 30 feet away. Okay, well, we can do the calculations very easily. Thank you, Danny. We can do the calculations very easily. Um, our intensity is going to be, well, first of all, the area of the sphere, which I've already done here. Uh, we just use the same formula, 10 times 1,000 centimeters quantity squared. If you square 1,000, you get a million, and multiply that by 10, you get 10 million. So we've got 10 million square centimeters, and that's 10 to the 7th square centimeters. Then our intensity is going to be 10 watts, I'm just going to use W for watts, over 10 to the 7th square centimeters, and that's going to be 10 to the negative 6th watts per square centimeter. 10 to the 1 divided by 10 to the 7 gives you 10 to the 1 minus 7, 10 to the 6. You should understand it more deeply than that, but at least understand that. Okay, decibels then is going to be well, here's our formula first. Okay, we're going to do 10 times log to the base 10 of um, our intensity, 10 to the negative 6 watts per square centimeter, divided by 10 to the negative 12 watts per square centimeter. And I didn't leave myself enough room, did I? Okay, that's going to be... Ten log base ten of ten to the sixth. And the log base ten of ten to the sixth is on our table. And you should be able to make this table anytime you need it. So that gives us ten to the sixth or sixty. This is a sixty watt sound. So or sixty decibel sound. Okay, here, 
the area. Okay, now we move in to 10 centimeters. So instead of being at one meter, 100 centimeters, or 1,000 centimeters, we move all the way into 10 centimeters to get our air up probably too close to the speaker. Okay, sphere area is going to be what? Well, we can square 10. So we put a 10 in here instead of 100. And square that, we get 100. And multiply by 10, we get 1,000. So the sphere area is about 1,000 square centimeters. Intensity at 1,000 square centimeters is going to be 10 watts. Over 1,000 square centimeters, that's 10 watts. Over 10 to the third square centimeters, or 10 to the negative second watts per square centimeter. So the decibel level of that sound, come back to the formula, which is a simple formula. You just have to be able to do the arithmetic. 10 log base 10, 10 to the negative second watts per square centimeter divided by 10 to the negative 12 watts per square centimeter. And 10 to the negative second divided by 10 to the negative 12 is 10 to the 10th. And the log of 10 to the 10th, just extend this table a few more lines, and you see it's going to be 10. So this is 100. Decibel sound. And that's getting fairly loud. Kind of hard to hear over 100 decibels. Not loud enough that, it, at least on a short term, it'll be painful, uh, but it will do hearing damage. You don't want it to stay around 100 decibel sound very long. You damage your ears, you end up like me. I can't hear over about 4,000 hertz. Uh, okay, so uh, 120 decibels is kind of the limit. At 120 decibels, it hurts. Okay. Uh, and, you know, you get up around 180 to 200 decibels, it'll kill you because it's pressure waves and the pressure keeps oscillating, which oscillates the pressure in your lungs, which ruptures your lungs and you, lungs bleed, to, bleed you to death. So, you know, you don't, you don't want to get around uh, sounds that loud. That's kind of like being within half a mile of a big rocket as it blasts off, okay? Um, yeah, you don't want to be that close. The flames won't kill you, but the sound will. Okay, so decibel scale. 